Welcome to another video from Dr. Lock. Here's um, another window lock we're going to do. This is a sliding up and down, and I can't remember the name for it. Um, hinge, uh, show, uh, anyway, sliding up and down window. And th But this is like one of those butterfly locks that interlock them. The first thing I do is I grab my big bunch of keys and I find out which key it is, and I pretty much know exactly it's LF43. And the next problem is <coughs> getting this actually out of the this actual lock plug out and there is a little tiny tiny window right at the back right down here it's also like a little spider web and who knows what else is down there so that is one option to actually get it out the only problem is but it's um you know it's a bit of a hard fishing thing to to get down the back to pull this plug out so on this particular example i think the easiest way and look at this the handle is blocking the retainer all the time i think the easiest way is going to be just to actually decode it because it's not a particularly hard decode. I use this tool here and I do have another tool as well. The light's a bit dodgy in this one. Okay, it's working now. So I look down the barrel and I can decode it and I'm going to say that's a two, two, three, three. It's not enough discs. It should be five in here. Looking, looking. It's got to be two, two, is that a one? Two, one, three, three, one, two, three, four. So we're missing a disc. Okay, so there's a one at the back. All right, so there's a piece of paper. Okay, we've got a one at the back. Two, one, three. One, two, one, two, one, three, three. So that's the way I decode it. That's the back of the lock. That's the front. So really that's our first cut there, and that's our last one there. So let's see if we're right. Uh, where are we? LF43. Ah, there. <coughs> okay, so here's our keys here. So we could get the spacing um, from the lock but we've got to pull the plug out and we know it's simple L and F spacing so we could simply just do it cheap here and we could just use another another lock or another key to get our um, to get our spacing or we could just stick it in the machine and do it that way which I think I'll do on this one okay excuse the bad camera angle I can use a good old HPC okay where's our code so our code starts off with a um, so I decoded backwards, so the first one's a 3-3. Three, three. Three. Three, three. One, which is a miss, and then a 2. And then that's a 1, which is a miss cut because it's only a small cut. And there we have our key. Let's test it. The code was right that we decoded, but the one of the 2s is coming up deep enough to be actually be like a two and a half almost a three so when I put the key into the lock I can turn it but I get a little bit of pressure and I can feel that when I look at the key I can see it's definitely just a little bit of a, of a notch on the two cut so I'm going to just take that down to a three with my clippers and now now it works but now it's just a little bit too clicky so moral of the story is this particular also it's got a bit of a bad round point this particular um, lock for some reason has a two cut in there which is like a two and a half and when I cut it to code it just wouldn't work so I gave it a little file and even when I give it a little file I'm still getting a slight impression mark on it so it's a two and a half it's got a two and a half cut in there when I cut it down to two and a half it seems to work pretty nicely so anyway that's making a key to a slide up and down um, sash window Thanks for watching.